John Wilder, historian for Aleppo Shrine. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that uh, comes into our hands quite often, and that is uh, long service or veteran jewels, uh, sometimes called veteran medals. These are presented by the uh, Grand Lodge of Massachusetts for 50 years of service by a brother. We often see them listed uh, for sale as either military veteran medals, because they do say veteran on them, um, they have the Grand Lodge seal on the front, and on the back will be the engraving of the brother's name along with the date that he was actually made a Mason. Now that's important to know because the jewel would have been presented 50 years after that date. A lot of people will assume that that was the date it was presented, so they're listed as a much older piece. The earliest ones are dated usually that I've seen have been the 1880s, so I've uh, confirmed uh, with our Grand Lodge historian, Right Worshipful Walter Hunt, who uh, believed the same, that they were first presented in the 1930s. Some of the earliest ones were made in sterling silver, and they've gone through different variations of uh, different uh, bronzes and plain metals over the years. We also have some examples from the Royal Arch chapter and the Council of Royal Select Masters, as well as many uh, examples from the Commander of Knights Templar. These ones feature uh, an image of Thomas Smith Webb, uh, who was the uh, first Grand Commander of uh, the Grand Commander of Massachusetts in Rhode Island, if I remember correctly. Now these ones are presented for 40 years, and if you make it to 50, uh, they have an additional bar. Again, some of these were sterling silver, and now they're just a base metal. Rarely, but you do see them that they will be engraved with the Sir Knight's name on the back, sometimes with his commandery, sometimes with the date that it was presented, but more often than not, they are not um, engraved. We also have different lapel pins from lodges. Some are, custom, some are generic, just with the square and compass and have a number of years. Some have the lodge seal different versions that were given by the Grand Lodge with uh, the 50-year jewel. Now, we get these a lot because since they are engraved, most of them, they can't be reused, they can't be reissued, they shouldn't be sold, but lodges don't know what to do with them. So, with our uh, museum room and archives up at Aleppo, I decided just to make a small display because when you think about it, they do represent many years of service by many long-standing dedicated brothers. So I felt it was important that instead of throwing them in a shoebox or a desk drawer, that we have them on display uh, just, to, just to recognize and, and thank our brothers for their long service. So we continue to add to them as, as more come in. Um, and I encourage uh, any lodge that, uh, that has a, a shoebox of these lying around to just put together a small display and, and just as a way to say thank you to their brothers. So if you like what we've, you've seen on our videos, be sure to uh, like the video, subscribe to our YouTube page, and remember to follow us on Facebook as well. Thank you.